So, hi everybody and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 5 tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is video 36 and we continue with uh, setting up our animation blueprint and we was already, we set up something here. So what we set up so far, let's check this fast before we continue. We set up our look uh, animation graph. We started here with our end pose. And for that, we started with, uh, we created a locomotion and the locomotion, what we have here, uh, looks like that, what we have so far. We have an entry point, we have an idle start point, And from this idle start point, which is just an animation, we go to the next animation but in this case it is a blend space because we want um, that our character can walk and run and want not do all manually uh, one by one that's why we created a blend space and how we are going to create this we just created a blend space and added it to the out uh, to the graph here just by dragging in in let's open up this blend space um, and watch what we created so far. We created here our blend space with just one axis, which checks all time the speed, which is changing later in our game. And this one will then react to this change. So for example, at start zero, at zero later, the speed changes higher and then it will blend our animation depends on the speed. But we have here a problem. We have not right now the speed, right? We have to get it anyhow. And that is the point where we continue with our uh, video here, how we get the speed variable. And I already told you in the last that we need there our character. And actually we need an access to this character here, our player character. What we need here is, first of all, the character itself, which means Anyhow, we need a reference to this character and we need also this character movement component. And this one is very important because in this movement component, we have very important, uh, yeah, uh, uh, very important variables. <laughs> These are also variables, more or less properties called in general. And this one uh, we will use and they are changing, right? Uh, for example, the mark, uh, max walk speed is anyhow, anywhere. The acceleration is anyhow, anywhere. And we won't get this. So important for us is we need a reference to this character and to this uh, max walk speed. A reference means I want access these properties, all what I can see here in details. But the problem is I'm not in this event graph of the character, which means I can't access it for from here i would access uh, to this property is very easy but from another place it's not so easy which means we have create something called references and how we are going to create these references let me show you fast in this default character because we are creating exactly the same thing here well, what we are going to create is just a reference which means get the character make a character variable and then cast it to this one. So very easy. And then from this character, get the uh, character movement and uh, um, save this all in variable, save the character in variable, that's it. And then we are finding the other values from that one. And I'll explain you this, how we are going to do. So let's get started. First of all, that was just an overview and let's do it now. We jump to our event graph which is in our animation blueprint in my case here here on the left side we go to event blueprint so i have this one and we have already one variable here right speed and the speed we get from our blend space this one we need but like i said before i need access the character which means i have create references because i'm on another class or the, another place and how we are going to create references is, for example, uh, we get the owning, get character. Normally you can write here, get character, for example, get player character, something like that. If, and that's very important, get player character for single player. 
in this case we make a single player uh, and later we will see how we will change this for multiplayer but not so fast because multiplayer will be a little bit more complicated in this case probably but not too much so let's get player character which is here zero and uh, but they use a little bit better they said get owning actor okay but this one works too let's do this like they do it do it get owning actor makes even more sense owning actor and the owning actor here makes more sense because this is an animation and the actor is the character blueprint or whatever okay let's use the same okay get owning actor let's see how they do it and then they cast to character and then the character okay let's do this too and then cast important here we make a cast a cast means uh we have now our owning actor, but we have to specify which one. And I want cast character. Careful. This character must be your character, actually. I don't know if this is now true here. Cast to character. This is probably general here. And then we are going from this one. Uh, let me show this one again. Uh, yeah, they set the character and so and then get from this one. I'm not sure if this one is the right character here because there is another way which in general what you would do is this one. Let me show you this fast. Get character very fast then get player character which is your because it's zero and then you make cast to character and then cast to and you can see here no you can't see uh, because the character name which I have should be let me show you this one too animations we have here we go to our game folder we go to characters uh, where is this I'm blind again and then you have the blueprint and normally you have to cast to this character here BP infinity warrior and interesting is this is not working cast BP I can't cast no ah it works normally it's this one cast to bp infinitive warrior because this is the normal way how you get this one i don't know why they get this one let's test this way first and then we see if this is working or not so and then and then you have your character i said oops let me show you this one first this is the blend space which we don't need right now this is the character yes because now I have an access to this character, right? That is called just a reference, what I just created here. But important is I need, uh, j this is just the cast. I need to save this one in a variable. Let's do this too. You can here and then uh, create a variable manually here on the right side by clicking plus, but that takes too much time. And that's why the most people use just here and click right click and promote to variable. This one promote to variable means just create a variable, please, for me instead that I write this variable. And you can see SBP Infinity Fourier, that's a perfect name. I keep this. And now this character, this variable here, has access now to this character here. This is that what I wanted. Okay, the next thing what I wanted is like in our default character, I want access this uh, character movement too, right? And how I'm doing that? This character movement is in uh, as a component in character, in this character, right? In this character blueprint. So what I'm going to do is I must use this variable here. And from this blue point here means I access it properties and this components belongs to them and i can write here character movement and anywhere it should be a variable when you scroll down you will find variable character get character movement exactly and this one means now i get this component here perfect and that's i need and then and uh, what they did then is they said this one we need saved as a variable too because we won't use that and the same trick here again you can make here a variable but of course we click right click promote to variable and 
which means save this movement component as a variable for fast access. So that's the first step they used. Anyhow, this other one here. I think this one is a little bit better later because what I did here is um, what I did here is for the player character zero, which means in a single player you are all time player index zero. But in a multiplayer game, this one here could make a problem, right? Because you have your three characters. So which one you want? Normally this get owning. Uh, Let's use this one. Get own, owning actor is normally good. But the only thing what I don't understand is why it's cast not to my character, BP. Let me see. BP. Ah, it's do it's doing. Okay. My mistake. So you can actually replace this one, this here, with this one. Makes even more, it's a little bit more accurate. But for a single player game, you could use this one, but for a this one is a little bit uh, better for a multiplayer game. Oh, probably. Let's do this fast. I change this fast here. These are the same. So uh, this one we don't need. This one is a general getting a character. This one is getting owning actor, which means target is anim instance. You can read this one, please. But this one here, what I showed you down, is the general uh, way to get the character for a single player. All right, we don't use this. We continue with this. We can compile and we have arrows here on the side. Uh, can enter transition. What it says. Ah, yeah, we have not set up the transitions yet. Yeah, we will set this up in a moment because we have not the variables to set this up. So we continue. We can ignore this compiler results here, but we have now set up. Uh, let me show this one a little bit. We have now get just reference to our character. We did nothing uh, actually. We just referenced <laughs> uh, 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 to our character. A reference means just like I said, we have now access to this character movement component, which means I have access to this details panel here. And I have also access to this character in general, which means I have access to these components and its variables here. That's why we created this reference thing here. Um, now, I want something uh, from this one, right? The reason why I created this reference was because for my... Let me go back to my uh, blend space. Where is that? Yep. The reason for that was that I make all this uh, set up because I want just the speed value. There is only one variable which I want, actually, which is the speed. But the problem is that's not so easy to get as I thought, right? We have set up a little bit more. And what we have to set up now is... Uh, oh, and I think I forget something else. Sorry for that one. Event blueprint update. I used here the wrong <laughs> the wrong node because this one is an update node. We should not use that. Sorry for that. We should really use this one. Event blueprint initialize animation. Right. Let's write here. Right click. Event. Uh, what was called it? Initialize anything. Initialize. Yeah. Event blueprint initialize animation. This one. And this node means before the character, let me compile this first again. Uh, before the character, this one is created and it's begin play and so on. This node, which we created now, will trigger first. Triggered first means this one will. Actually, that's not true. Not this one. Uh, because I the character must be created that I can reference to it. Uh, that not this node. I I mean this one probably one of them. So anyway, important is that you <laughs> create this node here, which is initialization uh, animation, and then it gets the character values, and after we have that, we have check 
now we go to the check let's go uh let's go to the check and what we want check let's show let me show okay we make the uh, get get in the sequence and then you know, we have to do this check here i think the video goes a little bit long again and this checking uh, and so on i will make in the next video so you can uh, watch uh, what i did so far and read a little bit on the internet what these notes are and then we are going to set up the exactly same thing i explained then why we need that and so on so i stop here and see you in the next bye